here's a demo how to compute the distance between two STL structures it can be crowns, casts, core, whatever but in this case I'm doing the uh, overlapping of uh, STL file of inferior alveolar canal uh, that's where uh, generated using two different method methods and uh, the overlapping is done on cloud compare so first of all you need to open your cloud compare upload your reference uh, STL file and I like to change the name to reference and then add the second structure or STL file I don't change their names then we select both of them control and we click on both of them here there is like the align uh, icon so we click on it and we select the not the reference the one that we need to compare to the reference uh, and then we click upload as you can see here you will have the new window uh, with the you can zoom in zoom out obviously you can uh, with the right click change directions uh, you can click on the right click and do the twisting let's say or rotations um, here we need to select uh, at least three uh, three equivalent points of on both structures uh, we need to try to make it as close as possible in the same location so we'll start and here you can see like you can hide the reference and you can show or you can show the reference so so this is like show the align hide the align you can see mm -hmm. okay now we I'm gonna start with the reference with the left here I canal I like to zoom in a little bit and then we need to click here and I will select uh, you can always delete if you don't like it so I will select here one here one on the curvature I like to put it as much as I can so here I will put uh, five let's say and then uh, I would recommend doing this on directly on the other one but you can zoom out so you can remember where where uh, these points so like that click here and then one here then one here We need to put them as close as possible so that's why i'm using like curvatures as a reference for me now it's like this is like more zoom out more thick structure so that's why like they look different but that's the purpose of the for the purpose of the demo and you can see here is reference here is like um uh, comparator let's say okay it depends if we need to compare both of them at the same time or we need to do slice uh, side by side let's say and obviously we can do the cropping I will show you later on how now I'm gonna do it all in one shot so uh, in one time so let's try this side as well mm -hmm. we click here and then we start with placing our reference also five points here one two three four and five it's gonna be here I will move this and I will try to place as well in the same the same position as close as possible. Two, three, and four. And now, uh, once we are done, uh, we can click on. So due to error, uh, I couldn't align. Uh, and this is good that I did this uh, mistake because as you can see here I uh, have mentioned uh, five uh, or I've selected five uh, reference points whereas here I selected four so the align button will not function so that's why I'm gonna now try to uh, make sure that uh, all are in the same position and then add the ninth point uh, remember the ninth point was in this direction exactly so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and then I'm gonna place the, the ninth point now we can click align and as you can see they are aligned and 
we click OK. Now for the next step, in that case they are mostly aligned and all together but sometimes you need to do some cropping to remove uh, some excess especially if you're doing like the scans of a cast let's say. Here there is a, there, there is a tool, uh, it's like a scissor, you can select and then you can use the scissor um, to adjust your scan, sorry. Mm -hmm. And you can do your like snipping here, like you can delete the inside, here you delete the outside. So uh, if needed, you can use it. Uh, now we're moving to the next step to compute the, the distance. So we select both of them. We are going to choose this one for the registration. And we need to make sure that the reference is well selected. You can swap them if needed. Here are the parameters. I'm not going to change any of the parameters. And now we click OK. So it's going to take some time to compute and uh, do the calculations. So now we can select the distance computing icon. And also here we need to make sure that this is the compared and this is the reference, like well selected. That's why I changed the name in the beginning. And then we click OK, and then we ask it to compute. And here we can see the difference, the maximum distance, the average distance, the maximum error, how um, the conformity between the two slices, the two scans, two STL files. We can click OK, and then we can come here. Uh, we can ask for graphs, 